I got circumcised three years ago. I'm 31 years old. I got circumcised when I was 28. Uh, and since then, many things happened. And I want to share my overall experience. If you are circumcised and you know, you're frustrated because you lost most of your sensitivity or if you're uncircumcised and considering to get circumcised, okay? Now, let me get this question out of the way because a lot of people ask me that. Do I regret getting circumcised? The answer is yes, okay? The reason I regret getting circumcised is because I lost most of the sensitivity. I'm talking like 90% of the sensitivity was lost, okay? So if you're uncircumcised, you probably know that touching the head of your penis or when it rubs against your underwear, it feels very uncomfortable. It's very sensitive. And this sensitivity is what leads to pleasure during sexual intercourse. Now, this sensitivity will be pretty much gone after you get circumcised. So the only feelings you're gonna be feeling is the feeling of pressure when your penis is inside another person's body and the feeling of warmth. So all this super sensitive head of the penis is gonna be completely gone, okay? Now, that's a good thing, sort of, if you suffer from premature ejaculation and you can't control yourself. All of a sudden, you're not gonna feel much and therefore it's gonna be easier for you to control yourself. However, I do not recommend you to go get circumcised because you have premature ejaculation, okay? There are many other ways for you to fix that problem instead of chopping part of your body off. And if you don't know, that problem is not physical, it's mental. So you're trying to fix it in the wrong way. So in the following video, I'm gonna share with you the pros and cons of getting circumcised after three years. And I'm gonna also share with you how I managed to get part of my sensitivity back. And I'm going to also share with you how I managed to get part of my sensitivity back using a device. Now, let's start with the good stuff. The pro number one of getting circumcised is you're less likely to catch infections. Why is that? Because it's much easier for you to clean your penis. And when there's no foreskin, that environment is not good for bacteria and for viruses. And therefore, they cannot stay there the same way they would stay under the foreskin. And therefore, they would have much less time to get into your body compared to if you had foreskin and they were just hanging out there and waiting for the opportunity to go inside your body. Pro number two is your penis is gonna probably look much better, okay? Now that's subjective, uh, but from most of the girls I've been with, they prefer having circumcised penis. And I tend to agree with them. I tend to agree that it looks a little bit more aesthetic. However, I wouldn't do the operation just in order for me to change how my penis looks like. Pro number three, and I'm not sure if it's a pro or a con, is you're going to last longer in bed. Now, that's gonna depend on you, but due to the lack of sensitivity at the head of your penis, you're gonna be able to last longer. Now, that's where the pros end. Everything else is pretty much a con, and by everything else, I mean losing 90% of your sensitivity, which is a big deal. I know it's just like one con, but it's a huge deal because sex is the source of pleasure in life. And if you stopped enjoying yourself when you're having sex, it's quite depressing, isn't it? So lately I've been trying to figure out how to get the sensitivity back to my penis without putting too much efforts and going through another operation or regrowing back the foreskin. Now I know there are some stretchers, I don't know what they're called, but you basically stretch the skin back to, to grow the foreskin again, but it just didn't sound appealing to me because it's going to take years of just stretching your skin and being under so much discomfort for you to just get back your foreskin, okay? And then gain the sensitivity back. Now there's something else that I'm using that is helping me get back the sensitivity and it's helping me get harder erections and it's helping me get a bigger penis. So 
the device I'm using is the Pinimaster Pro, and it's actually not made to be um, a device to gain back the sensitivity. It's just one of the side effects of that device. Now, the device is actually a penis stretcher that is supposed to increase the length of your penis. However, the device has this kind of suction cup that, you know, vacuums the head of your penis and covers it completely. And I thought to myself, what would happen if I had my penis covered? If I basically made some sort of artificial foreskin that I could use. And I bought this device long ago. It was just sitting in my closet. So I decided why not use it and try. So I started using it. I use it not just to cover the head of my penis, but also to stretch it. And this device is actually sold as a penis enlargement kit. And in my opinion, it's the best penis enlargement kit on the market. I bought it, but I was just too lazy to use it earlier. And now that I'm basically getting more than just increasing the size of my penis, I decided to use it in order for me to get the sensitivity back. Now, the good news is I was actually able to get back my sensitivity, not the way it was before, okay? I was able to get some of the sensitivity back and I'm gonna explain to you exactly why. So the reason why is, first of all, your penis is covered, but not just this. When it's covered, it's also vacuumed inside of this, I don't know what you call it, chamber. And what happens when the penis is vacuumed is that also the blood is drawn to the head of the penis which somehow makes you more sensitive. I don't know if it's like strengthens the, the nerves in the head of the penis. I have no idea how it works. But from what I know is that after you take off this device, you are way more sensitive than you used to be. And on top of this, I'm actually seeing uh, increase in length from stretching my penis. I don't know how permanent that's gonna be, but uh, from using it for around one week, I saw an increase of one centimeter, which is like half an inch almost, which I think it's amazing. Like I can only imagine if I use it for like a year or something, what results I'm going to get. So again, you know, increasing the size of my penis was not my goal to begin with, but since I'm already using the device, why not get the two benefits out of it? Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was actually pretty obsessed with the size of my penis and I went ahead and bought a bunch of devices like this one. And most of them were complete crap, okay? Uh, they would just not hold your penis properly. Uh, this is the only device that I can truly recommend. Uh, I kind of know the people that are behind this company. It's a German company and they give you like five years warranty on this device, which no other company would. And I'm going to leave the link for this device in the description. I rarely recommend any products on my channel, but I think that you're not gonna regret buying this device, even though it's a little bit expensive. So what you're going to get is you are going to get an increase in sensitivity. You're going to get harder erections. Uh, the reason for that is because when your penis is stretched, it's gonna be much easier for the blood to flow to your penis and therefore you're gonna have much harder erections. And on top of that, I saw increase in length, which I was more than happy with and I'm just gonna keep wearing this device. So this is how I was able to get some of the sensitivity back after getting circumcised. And in my opinion, it's one of the best ways to get back the sensitivity because if you look at the alternatives, if you're just going to stretch the skin around your penis until you grow back the foreskin, you might as well use a device like this and also gain a little bit of length when you're stretching your penis. I'm also going to be testing different other ways to gain back the sensitivity and I'm gonna keep you updated on this channel. So if you're not subscribed yet, I highly recommend that you subscribe to the channel and you hit the bell icon because if you don't do it, you're basically not gonna see the video when I post it. In any ways, if you saw any value in this video, I would really appreciate if you press the thumbs up and let me know in the comments, are you circumcised or uncircumcised? And are you considering getting back your sensitivity? In any ways, I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye-bye.